Now it's just smoothing. Doesn't need anybody on it to level out and smooth. It's working really good. Rose is so pleased, which makes me pleased. Good job, Rose. You're a Guinness, I mean a genius. smoothly cleaning it up isn't it cleaning and leveling that's the whole idea Okay, today we got our A arms for the back finished, our trailing arms, and uh, we built the angle and we, we cross braced it. And so we have the, now everything locked in so we can remove these with a pin. And now what we did um, is Rose is gonna show you the idea on what we're gonna do with the adjustments locking down the sides is that one side or the other is gonna be a little taller and that's gonna put a, uh, an angle on our blade so that we can use it as a, like a motor grader would use it. We can use the blade like a mole board and we can rotate that blade around 360 degrees and we can go flat, we can go at different angles um, and we can even flip it around backwards and be able, wow, that's great movement, Rose. We can even flip it around backwards and use it to do some uh, skim uh, smoothing. So we're real excited about it. Are you excited? Yay! Is that rod down or no? You're doing great, honey. Wave at the crowd. Hello. <laughs> She's having, oh my gosh, so much fun. So, how do you feel about this? Tired. <laughs> Tired. <It works. laughs> well, you have work for a good week and a half at least. <laughs> it's what I'm going to call Frankenblade. <laughs> okay, sounds good to me. So this is how they change their blade's pitch. Rose can raise or lower each side individually. And as the A-arm in the back goes up or down, it changes the height of the blade up front. So boy, they go way down there, don't they? Yeah. That's beautiful. I mean, we got two more inches. Dang, you're kidding me. Yeah. It's, it's pretty much straight down now. Yeah. We, we nailed it. We nailed it. Good job. Well, you nailed it. You want to change the pitch one side. Yeah. You can lower one side and it, it uh, causes the blade to drop right down and make a point. 
against the ground so you can create crown. And then you drop the blade back a little bit and it'll uh, work to do a cut. Isn't that something? Well, you are a success, my dear. I'm very proud of you. Yay! All right, we'll start mass producing then. <laughs> no. <laughs> I'm retired. No. So a little primer on our John Deere Katana. This is a standard John Deere blade. It's, it revolves around 360 degrees. It's used for grading with a, uh, a hitch on the back of a tractor. And what we did was we welded two heavy um, trailer hitch mounts on the back. And then out of the trailer hitch mounts, we extended two boards at, or two pieces of uh, square metal out of the back of that that fit it and we drilled holes in those so they could be pinned to it then we put on a, a heavy cross beam on those teed it perfectly and we used U channels to hold our back axles the trailing arms on so that way we could weld inside outside up down make them really strong after we got the U-channels on, we put on a rear hitch, another hitch on the back that's gonna be used for the, the tractor seat that the, can, that the person running it will drive. And then we put some vertical arms and we built some Harbor Freight 3,500 pound jack stands to have what we called ears on the bottoms and ears in the middle and those go to the bottom down here, the trailing arm, and up here. Then we built two trailing arms that went into those back U-channels, and we bought some of these axles that we welded to the bottom of those so we could put trailer wheels on these, trailer tires. We used our old Ford Think smaller tires that we had on the Ford Think when we first bought it because they're nice and wide and they don't have much of a foot on the ground. And so these guys go in the back, the jack stands go into those, and when you move the jack stands up and down, these go down and they go up. And what that does is that raises and lowers the sides of the blade, which you can turn on different angles, and you can use it to pull dirt, pull dirt into the middle of the roadway, or you can use it to cut water uh, so it'll run off along the side, and you can add crown to the to the roadway and we're going to be using these up north right now we're getting ready to load it all up on our 10,000 pound trailer so wish us luck Roadway. What could be making this happen? Oh, <laughs> it's Rose. <laughs> so funny. She had to go out and play already this morning before anything else. Oh, gotta have some fun in the outer rim. <laughs> 